Right, Doug, tell us about this really cool uh, feature that you've developed for us on our hosted IPPBX platform. Okay, so we've uh, snapped together a solution uh, for the hotel and host functionality, or service at least, on BoardSoft. Um, as you probably know, with BoardSoft, with hotel and host, you need to use a voice portal in order to associate yourself to the phone. The problem with that is, A, you don't get a profile on your phone, and B, it's, it's, it's just horrible to do that. So what we did is we developed a quick solution that uh, allowed us to provision a phone via Mac authentication <coughs> with obviously the hotel host details. Uh, the benefit is one, we obviously get uh, extension dialing as well as emergency dialing. Um, and the other option is we have a login feature as opposed to using voice portal. Okay, let's, let's, have, let's have a look here. So if I hit login, we're going to get a prompt. Obviously, the eyes hip login is a custom feature. This can obviously be whatever you want it to be. You can even have a little message here. That says. We also added a feature where it caches the last user that's logged in. So obviously, if you sort the, the desk often, you don't want to have to type in your phone number all the time. So I'm just going to quickly enter my very secure password. Obviously, what's happening now is it's querying Borisoft and it's doing a voice portal authentication. So the pin I've used to log in is actually my voice portal pin. Okay. And That's obviously, pretty neat. as you can see, it's provisioned my phone. And if, I have a, if we have a look at my static phone, which is provisioned... So by this is your profile. So these, these are all being reconfigured. It's basically pushed the config for your profile back to this phone. Correct. But it hasn't had to reboot. It hasn't had to reboot. Uh, it hasn't, you know, hasn't had to do pretty much anything other than show the information. Uh, if we have a quick look at my static phone, uh, obviously, this is provisioned statically. It's my phone that I use every single day. And, um, yeah, as you can see, pretty much everything's identical, short of the log off uh, function, mm -hmm. as well as another key that we've added in, which is a lock function. Uh -huh. um, so let's yeah. take a talk us through that lock function quickly. Okay, so the lock function, uh, we found a problem with the, the Astro phone, whereby the phone's default locking feature had to have a, a pin associated to the phone directly. This caused a problem from an administration point of view. Mm -hmm. If I had to stupidly forget my pin code, I had to get someone to read DMS my phone to get me out or have an mm. admin pin. The problem with that caused security. So how have, you how have you changed it now? So what we've done is we've actually keyed the lock function over to um, the voice portal pin. Mm -hmm. So now, as you can see, my phone is now locked. It's indicators on, red lights on as standard with the Astra uh, 6757i. And obviously if I hit unlock, it's going to prompt me for a pin. So what pin is this now? This is, once again, the same pin I use to log in, as well as my voice portal pin. Okay. And so you actually uh, are locking it with your voice portal pin? Correct. Which makes okay. it obviously a... That's cool. Uh, so if you change, it in, you change it in broad soft, that, that pin is current and you can use that pin. Correct. So yeah. it's not locked down to the phone. That's very cool. Not at all. That's a very cool feature. So that's your two features here. So then now this this is the you basically hotel to this phone. Um, so if we make a call here, this it'll show this CLI, your CLI, on, on your mobile phone. So that's let's great. let's do that. Okay. Let me get my BlackBerry out. And I'm just gonna dial my cell phone number. As you can see. Coming Master through as your, as your profile. Okay, Correct. perfect. And not the dummy host, but the host profile. No. Awesome. Okay, let's kill that. All right, and then uh, to log out, you just, I guess, hit the log out button. That's correct. So obviously, ask you if you are sure. If we hit no, obviously, going back to the same profile. Okay, if we hit yes. We're going to go back to the hotel host. Perfect, wow. If the user has actually now been disassociated from WhatsApp. So we have to go and log on to Wordsoft's portal, check the, the hotel host as well as the hotel, the hotel guests. Profiles, both of them will be disassociated from one another. And that's it in a pretty much wrap. Fantastic. Thanks, Doug. Cool. Thank you. Cheers, Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.